Hey, what's up, guys? It's Robert Ross here with today. I was like, thinking today, and I was like, huh, I'll carry it. Huh. Like, a big difference between the RS3 version and the Old School Roomscape version. And then I was like, you know what? Why am I not making a video about it, about the changes? So you guys also can see it. Because why not, you know? It's a big, big change. One of the biggest changes in the entire game, I think. So yeah, let's go. So yeah, as you can see, it's you might know this place. Come on, I mean, everybody probably knows Agaria. This may be like the second place you go to. Also, sorry for the zoom in the video. I tried to fix that, but I didn't quite. Yeah, did it. I tried, but I wasn't able to. So this is the way you walk out of Alcaria normally if you want to go to Varok with this guy that handled flyers that are out of date. So yeah. Secondly, um, you got right here you got the Alcaria mine. Very classic. I think everyone probably mined here back in the past. At least I did that a lot. I still do that a lot actually on my Iron Man, but yeah. Crafting out our here. Camel. Um, yeah. As you can see, you got a lot of hair. I mean, it's not that important. I mean, this is normally where you don't come. I mean, it's just dead end. As you heard, just the duo arena music coming in. Let's try it again, yes. Also here, the mage arena, the mage dinny. I'm not sure what scout, but hey. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's not... I don't do that much there, but uh, Okay, now the next stop. Um, it's still from Agariat, but I'm actually gonna walk in the duo arena. Because that changed also a lot, and yeah, it's it's basically in the same city, so yeah. Sorry for my low run, run energy, but I only got 38 agility, so yeah. So now we entered the duo arena. You can look at the scoreboard. Yeah, I never used the duo arena on old school. I don't know why. I'm yeah, I'm not really used to it, so I did it back in the day, but just dueling with friends to figure out who's the best or something. It's a long way back anyways. Anyways, we made it to the duo arena, so not much to show you. You can walk up here up there and spectate the duos. Actually they have a duo right now. So, in a duo arena world, many people are inside here, and some people are going for stake duos, some people not. I can't remember this prayer out there, but it is here nevertheless, so... And since I only have two prayer points left, I can use it. Alright. So yeah. Also, I only gonna show our carry out so everything um, after the you know the big desert where you get attrition damage like you lose hit points because of the dry weather it's not included this was the thing I meant with mage arena thingy I, I can maybe see how it's called the mage training arena I actually was pretty close with mage arena yeah, it's a mini game. Um, I don't think it gets used a lot. Mostly by Iron Man that that wants to have the spell bones to peaches. Yeah, that's pretty good spell, but that's basically everything I would do do there if I ever would use it. Just like that, and that's it. 
So now we're going back to the city of Gariads. Not much left to show, but hey. It's not the biggest city, so... <laughs> So we're back here and yeah, on the camel. Um, but yeah. So you got a few stars here. Um, this guy also gives a quest. Gem style you can trade with. Mostly at the time they our gems are sold. The Silic Trader. The Skimita Shop. I mean I can remember back in the day when I first bought, bought a steel skimita without GA. I was so happy man, but uh, we're talking about 11 or 12 years back, so <laughs> that's that's really long. The Agariot Palace, you can train on the gods, like, yeah, like this. And they are going to have a bird, since they are all in the palace, they can't. That's why most people who train here in the belt level. 20 or something I think just so they can get a lot of XP and yeah basically a bit of AFK train as well since they all attack you so if you kill one of them. There are some other shops like general store, crafting, like legs. Clan Wars, I mean, I like it, but I don't see it as a part of Agaria because back in the day when I played, it was in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, the wilderness back then was actually pretty safe because they removed the PvP. Yeah, that was a bad thing they, they, they did once, but it's back. So yeah. I was so one little house here, not so what it does. Back to the palace. You must check out this place with the Shantai gods. Actually, you can get a free talent to Botsarum, but yeah. So, this guy you need to say is dangerous there. You also need weather skins if you go there. But if you really need water skins, you can buy them here. So, that's not a problem at all. You also need to buy a Shantai pass to pass. Unless they change that. On the Scorpion walking around. Basically the last thing that is here is the Akariat Bank. And then uh, you can walk here and you got still the furnace. And uh, you can dot heights. Agility coos. The rooftop agility coos is only on old school. Old school they are though. Anyways, that's pretty much it on the old school, so let's go to RS3. I will do the screen out for a second, so I can log in. Sorry for that, but... I just never show when I log in. Alright, login in, please wait. I should change it because it's still on old school and not on RuneScape 3. Alright, now we're on RuneScape 3, so you already see a big difference. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Very big difference. First of all, here's the rune outer. You can just click on enter now. Don't need to use a talent on it, but. You need the talisman to enter it. Also, this is so bigly changed. Okay, uh, those demons are normally not here. Just saying. See, this guy is still advertising the Skimmy Stash. Mate, you were doing this back in 2007. It's 2008. 2000. 
2019. You still think it's, it's working? Not really, man. But the biggest change is right here. You can basically see like the mines. It's not as many ores as before, but we got an entire mine in a smitten update. So some gem rocks. I'm gonna show this really quickly. Oh, inside here, you need an engineer for level. We got Dragolite, Necrite, um, maybe some other things. Nah, other things are just gem rocks, apparently. But yeah, that's basically it. So, Aurus, Imps, and this guy. I'm not supposed to be here normally. Only this normal Imp. Um, that's like Raids or something. I never really do it. So now we're gonna walk into the duo arena. Yeah, you can walk just in here from multiple angles. So right here you got the mage arena, training arena once again. With the magic trees that are, yeah, a lot bigger. Just gonna be honest. Um, yeah, if you walk further, you can here see Brilliant Wisp, basically some divination training and a cave. But we're not going there since yeah, it's not really that important. Now we actually go to the Duo Arena and that changed a lot. You also got here the scoreboard of the Duo Arena. I'm not sure you're gonna see much here. <laughs> Only two. Wow. Not much happening here. Not much. So yeah, here you can normally spectate the matches, but there isn't much left of the big arena you normally s you could walk. I mean, this is basically everything left. So it changed a lot here. Still got the same prayer out there, so maybe it was the all the time and I just didn't know about it. So yeah, now we're gonna walk into Alcaria actually. So also a lot changed here again. The guy with the quest, the select trader, the gem trader is is our is here at the other corner. Has his own little house right now instead of a stall i think he made a lot of profit over the years so yeah a lot of little tents you can walk in buy stuff little shops are here again general store plate legs crafting modes skirts and stuff and here is the palace it's also pretty big it's the same thing but yeah I don't really, they don't, I doubt they still attack you if you kill one of them, apparently not. Anyways, um, so if we walk further you basically see more things like, this, like I said before. And you can also walk out here but this is not Clan Wars, not at all. Clan Wars is in a cave just past Falador. This basically lead to the abbeys and you could hear desert strike worms. The abbey is in wall crest, but it's only always three, so I'm not gonna show that because it's not much that to show. Because it's more comparison and you can't compare something that the other game doesn't have. That's also why I didn't do the agility rooftop. So yeah, I'll shoot this house again. Um the Shantai Pass, yeah, I mean, you could be basically see it's a Shantai Pass, but the big difference are just a lot of graphics, that's everything. Like, what game you play, it's just what you prefer, I, I like both, so, yeah. So we're just wrapping it up right now, we're just gonna run past the bank here, also the gods that are patrolling here right there. Bank here, furnace, the high tenor, 
and just outside the Cariat we got the, the way to dungeon here and uh, that's the important for this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments which version do you prefer. Um, also, if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like down there. I really appreciate it if you do. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, there will be definitely more RuneScape content, also other games, but mostly RuneScape. And now I thank everyone for watching. I hope whenever you're watching, you have a great day or evening or night or afternoon. Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.